When the credits began to roll on Logan, I knew I had felt the same feeling once before. Logan's vicious human story was one that I had experienced in 2012 with the release of Halo 4. While Bungie's Halo games certainly had a superb cast of characters that could carry its epic story, there was always something missing. Johnson, Keys, and the Prophets all had depth, but none of them were analyzed to the utmost degree. And for good reason. Bungie's games were about mystery and action. It wouldn't be until they passed on the torch to 343 Industries that the Halo universe would take a deeper look at itself. After 10 years telling the story of the Human Covenant War, Halo was able to slow things down and focus, which resulted in the character introspective known as Halo 4, a game that flushed out the intricate details of the expanded fiction that the original trilogy, for the most part, left out while also narrowing its focus on the relationship between its two central characters. And that's why Logan reminded me of Halo 4, a story of a once powerful comic book hero who is now at his wit's end, an introspective on a character who was broken and battered, and how the world around him never let up. Logan fuses together the world of the X-Men and a story about an old hero. The world almost plays a secondary role, in fact, it does play a secondary role. This is about a man who has been hurting all his life, and that's all that really matters. This is a lived-in tale, with moments of false peace. There was never going to be a happy ending, but you knew that, didn't you? The once feral animal wasn't going to claw out of his grave and lead a new generation of mutants. This was about the journey. With Halo 4, Many may argue that its extension of Halo's lore was a key focus of the game's story, and I would agree. But is it really the core of the story? Is it not really just about John and Cortana? Is it not just a human story with a world that lends credence to it? The fate of the X-Men who were killed by Professor Xavier isn't for the sake of their deaths. It's there to enhance the relationship between Charles and Logan. And the same can be said about the backstory of X-23. In a certain way, the details don't matter, it's about the relationships. And Halo 4 had this in abundance. The return of the Forerunners and what that means to the Halo universe is important, but the relationship between an ancient madman, speaking of responsibility and guardianship, and the duo of John and Cortana is more important. And that's what Halo 5, 343's second title, is missing. Humanity, emotion, focus. Halo 5 is vapid and vacant. It's not there to serve any purpose. It's a story for story's sake. Its characters are shallow and almost meaningless. And even worse, their interactions are limited. What did they achieve to make me care about them as a player? What made them interesting? The didact in Halo 4 has two appearances. Two. And he somehow brings more humanity and emotion than the entire fire team in a fraction of the time. His introduction and exit speeches, both towards John and about John, is the type of connection that Halo is missing, and one that Logan focuses on with brutal efficiency. Even these beasts recognize what you were oblivious to, human. Your nobility has blinded you, as ever. The librarian left little to chance, didn't she? Turning my own guardians, my own world, against me. But what hubris to believe she could protect her pets from me forever. If you haven't mastered even these primitives, then man has not attained the mantle. Your ascendance may yet be prevented. Time was your ally, human. But now it has abandoned you. The foreigners have returned. This tomb is now yours. For the sake of the franchise, and for the sake of its gargantuan potential, 343 must take lessons from James Mangold's Logan, a story of a broken man and an introspective into his struggles, 
a type of story that the Halo franchise delivered in 2012. Logan and John are no different. Broken men seeking any semblance of humanity, trying to repair old wounds and forgive themselves of the crime of being who they are. In an interview with Build, Hugh Jackman touched on what the vision for the film was, saying, This movie is about what it's like for the soldier returning from the battle. The battle is the easy bit. It's the family that is difficult. It's real relationships. That's what is difficult for him. James Mangold hit on this idea of a man who is terrified of love and intimacy, being surrounded by family. If that doesn't sum up the story of the Master Chief, I don't know what does. To 343 Industries, I would say, focus on the man that is the beating heart of your universe. He who questioned his place in the galaxy and was taught hard lessons about being human. The one in green who fights for a blue team and longs for a blue companion. Focus on the man who is discovering his internal humanity and taking us on a great journey of his own.